So today I'm going to kind of show you guys how I have all of this organized for my stickers. Don't mind my ratchet fingernail. Um, I do separate them by what it is. So obviously you guys can see these ones have um, labels on them and this one does not. This is all of my Erin Condren stickers. Literally anything that is a sticker that is Erin Condren is in here. Um, and I will flip through and show you guys how I have that organized. This is my kits binder, my functional stickers binder, my decorative stickers, and then I have three of the little sampler books from Alexandra Nicole Plans. This one I just got, you will have seen this in my last little IGTV and there's currently nothing in it, but it is up here waiting to be used. So without further ado, let's jump into my sticker organization. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with and show you guys are my two freebie sampler albums. These are from Alexandra Nicole Plans. If you watch my last IGTV, I did a review on her oops bags and you would have seen that I picked well, I didn't pick it up, it came in it, but I got this one in my last one and I'm not using this one yet. I just haven't purchased any more stickers to put anything in this yet. But these two both have a purpose. Um, this one is the one that I use for icons. So we will do a quick little flip through. Um, majority of my freebies that are in here are from Orange Umbrella Co. and Planer Kate. So I've got some little meal ones. We've got these adorable ones from Orange Umbrella Co. Like those little tea bags. And like, I know these are totally supposed to be like a boba tea, but I think they can also just go off as like an iced coffee. And the foil, I love gold foil, it's ridiculous. And then these little frappuccinos, I cannot. Um, these planner Kate weather ones, as you can see, those are well loved. <laughs> and then I've got a bunch of icons and paw prints. I've got little date dot things or well, undated dots, but, um, just little date covers, some more date covers, but these ones are hexagon and then some little heart and stars. Then I've got arrows. And these are check boxes and little like headers. Then I've got little flags, these little two-tone flags and payday flags. Some of the little Planner Kate Doodle Girls. As you can see, this one I've already used both of my weekend banners, but that's what it looks like for that little sampler. And then the Orange Umbrella Co. little sampler. And then I've just got some random icons and water trackers and these little shoes. And otherwise this one is still pretty well empty. Oh, just kidding. How did this one get all the way back here? This little archery practice, super cute. I don't really know when I will ever use it because I don't do archery, but you know, it's still cute. And that's it for this one. And then in the back, I also do just keep all of my planner Kate little um, stickers as well. So that's it for this one. My other little sampler book is all my functional stickers. So appointment labels, some more appointment labels, but different, just some solid labels, some basic labels, more basic labels, but a little bit more decorative and scalloped, flags, some little, half um, or quarter boxes, check boxes, some more like school-based ones with pencils and a book. These ones are super cute with a little dashing, like stitch look, so cute. Some more flags. Um, these two are from Latrousse Papery, obviously, because you can see the little emblem there. Um, and these are the same two ones that you pretty much get every time if you order, so I do have an extra of each one. Um, this is where I get my Bill Do stickers from. So you generally will get a little sampler of her Bill Do stickers and then also her little budget ones as well. And I also just have some other Bill Do's. These are just little headers, 
some habit trackers, workouts, and then we start to get into some scripts. So grocery pickup, doctors, little sampler, 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 cleaning, planner Kate samplers. Some little mani petties, movie night, coffee, reading, and then we get into date dots, uh, monthly, little month stickers, some 2020 and 2020. These also are 2020, um, and then I have one 2021, but they're different fonts, so I like them separate. And then some other appointment type ones, and I do have one spot left in this one. This book is full. <clears throat> some other type of budgety ones, some Fridays. These are separated because these are transparent and these ones are not. And then these um, are all the same, but these ones are foil and these ones are not, but they all say the same thing. So that's that for how I have my, I um, organize my freebies. I highly recommend these. I will link um, her shop or her Instagram in the description and these do run, I believe they're like 14 or 1450 and I super highly recommend it. I love these, as you can tell, this one's full, where's one space open? This one is probably about halfway full and thankfully I picked up that last oops bag so now I have another one so I can start. The first binder I'm going to do is my Erin Condren binder and how I have it organized. All of my binders are from Russell and Hazel. I know you can get some of them on Amazon, um, specifically the teal one that I have. And I know they also have like a rose, like pinky blush color. Um, I, I think that color is very pretty. And I did actually purchase one from Amazon originally. And then I went to the Russell and Hazel website and I found that they have black and gold and white and the teal and the blush and I returned the blush one and I picked up black, gold, and white and I kept the teal one that I ordered from Amazon. They are the same price on Russell and Hazel um, as they are on Amazon and so I just did one of each color that way I can divide them by what it is. So my black binder is Erin Condren specific and when you open them, I do have them tabbed all the way through and they are not in alphabetical order or anything like that I just kind of put them in so the first thing I have are my EC circles so my transparent dots and just those three sheets and then I have my decorative so these are basically a lot of the ones that come in the petite planners these I know were like a summer surprise box these ones were, I think, was this the last summer surprise box or the subscription, I think, one of them. <clears throat> These ones are also from, oh, I can't, no, I can't remember. These might have just been from, I know these ones specific are from the back of my planner, but I can't remember about these ones. This might have just been like a booklet or something. I'm not totally sure, let's be honest. Um, but I just cut them down based off of what they are um, to divide them up and separate them. So I got my little banners. And then I have my EC washi and have them double-sided. And then some more icons. Uh, I do, so for these, I know these came out of the teacher um, like sticker book and I take them apart from the books and I put them in here. So these ones are a lot of from the teacher book. Also, I had purchased a teacher lesson planner last year. And so I have a bunch of those ones in here as well. Like these ones came from that. These ones came from it. And my teacher book actually initially came wrong and they had to send me a new one. So I have doubles of a lot of them. This I know is from the teacher book. These are extras I had purchased on um, the silver foiled month sheet from Erin Condren and I used all of my months in my previous planner um, in that like 12 month glance 
kind of thing. And this was left over from it. This is from the teacher book, teacher book, I believe teacher planner. And this is from my life planner, life planner. I just cut the sides off from these, all the little flags. Oh, that's got some clippings there. So got some more from my life planner. I'm obsessed with this. The foiling of the from the layers, I, I cannot. Some more from my teacher planner. And then again, I take all of these out from the back of my planners and I just divide them by their color. Petite journals. I purchased this. This is like their dot grid little sampler thing. The teacher plan um sticker book. This is a mix of a teacher sticker book page and from the teacher lesson planner, teacher lesson planner, a mix of teacher lesson planner and um, teacher sticker book, sticker book. And then we get to my letters. So this is going to be all of my alphabet letters from Erin Condren. So I've got my this gold that has the with the white, my solid rose gold, my solid gold and I don't actually have silver. And then the last section in this binder is my EC monthly kits, which I labeled them monthly kits, but really all I did was take um, all of my parts from the previous two EC monthly sticker books and, and combine them. So obviously some of them, so when I take them out, it is like three sheets. So it's the washi side, this decorative side and then the full page from the other books. So this is two different books in here. So we've got January, February, March, April, May, June. And then when I get to July, this um, July, the most recent sticker subscription was my first one. So for July, obviously I also just used a lot of it since we just had July. Um, I have my, from my EC July sticker books and then I have my subscription stickers together. And then same thing for August, it's from the sticker book you can purchase on Erin Condren and then my subscription stickers. And then same for September and then we've got October, November, December. And that is it for my Erin Condren binder. And all of my binders are set up the same with the same metallic tap. The next binder I'm gonna go through is my teal one. This is the only colored one. And this is my kits binder. And it's, it's exploding at the seams. Like opening this binder is rough. <laughs> I don't ever want to. So the first thing I have in my kits binder are my Planner Kate monthly headers. As you've seen when in my spreads that I do, I am very simple. I make it a Monday to Sunday start. I cover the date dots and then I'm super simple in my planning. So I have these, my May to June, my July through September, and then I will purchase my other ones. And then you know that I purchase the basic and appointment labels in the monthly color to go with it. And that's all that I do in my monthly spreads. So I always just purchase these. I purchase the basic, the appointment and call it a day. So that's July. Here's August. August and September, I actually did not purchase the appointment labels for because I found I wasn't using them as much once I found my Latrousse papery um, bill do stickers. And so I pretty much used those. So I found I didn't really need the appointment ones as much. So I didn't purchase them for August and September. As you can see, I did use a bunch of August already. And I use those in my academic planner because I do the same thing in my academic monthly spread as my life planner. So we've got August, September, and then we get into my weekly kits. I just keep this um, piece of the planner Kate, um, her like envelope in here just to keep it space so I'm not constantly switching my tab on the week, next week. So 
I have all of my kits in here that are going to be used through basically Halloween. Um, I still have a few kits to order, as you can see, but I have it set in here for Halloween. And then I have my extra kits that just, some of them have dates in there, but they're for 2021 because they were just extras that I didn't get used um, this spring. So I've got this really cute watermelon one from Orange Umbrella Co for July 20th to the 26th. And I just use sticky notes to plan them out. That way it's easy to remove. And then once I use the kit, I just take this entire thing out. I throw off the sticky, I use my kit and you guys will see later on what I do with my leftover stickers. And then it just gives me a laminate sheet back. So this is my back to school kit, which actually I need to change to this week because it was just made official in my county that um, we are pushing our back to school date from August 10th, which was supposed to be our first day back at school to August 19th um, at the moment because of the coronavirus. So I actually need to switch this and I'm actually, you know what? I'll do this afterwards. <laughs> I don't mess myself up here. So I do have my kits going straight through. And then this one, I still need um, a kit for. And then I need a kit, I need a kit, I need a kit. <laughs> and then we get to my extra kits. And like I said, they do, some of them do already have dates on them of when I have an idea of the week that I'm gonna use them in 2021, but it's it's up in the air, let's be honest. But um, I loved this kit from Orange and Pelico, so I had to buy it. So I will make myself use this next year. I'm honestly already thinking that this might be my Easter kit if I don't find an Easter kit that I really like come Easter next time, next year. So I've got this one, this one from Alexandra Nicole Plans, Orange Umbrella Co, Planner Kate, and then I've got a bunch more Alexandra Nicole Plans. I actually have the rest of this kit in my cart right now to purchase and love this kit so much. I can't wait for her to release it so I can buy the extras for it. And then this came in a deviant bag from Orange Umbrella Co. You guys know I already used this kit, but I'm obsessed. And then this one, I honestly, I just threw it in here, but I just got the rest of it and I need to put a tag on it because I'm definitely gonna be using this in January. So as I completed the rest of this kit and then this other leftover kit from Planner Kate. So that is my kids binder and it is stacked right now. I need, I need to get through it. The next binder is also stacked full, y'all. This one is busting at the rings. This is my functional kit, or not kit, but my functional stickers binder. And like I said, it's literally busting at the, the seams. So my first label here is my Latrousse Papery um, Bildus. So y'all know I love these. I use these in my monthly spread and I have it for just about every bill under the sun. And then the way I have the rest of this set up is the first half of it is my script stickers but I have them divided by the shop because I know certain ones I don't have like, I don't have like a to-do sticker from every single shop. I know for a fact that I have to-do scripts from Alexandra Nicole Plans and Orange Umbrella Co. So then I'm not consistently flipping through. I can just go to the shop and say, okay, I need my to-do stickers from Alexandra Nicole Plans, here they are, or whatever have you. So. The first shop of script stickers I have is Fern Creek Stickers. This is a new shop to me. I've purchased from her once and I absolutely love it so far. So these are her holidays. And then she has these really cute little samplers for like school and I love them so much. So I purchased two of those. <laughs> these cute little date night stickers, these family time, tidy up, meal prep, Flea and Tick Meds for my dog. And then I have Peachy Plans, Target Run. Ooh, Lord knows that that's me. These are super cute. Other little samplers for the gym. Has like what 
you're gonna work out that day. And then I have her other ones that says time to sweat. Clearly I need to get some more IG post ones from her. And then she also has these other IG ones. It's like before the pen, midweek, end of week. So stinking cute. And then my Alexandra Nicole plan scripts. I've got two different, both of her fonts for payday. I've got a no spend and some bill stickers. Trash day, rest day, and workout to do. Post office. These say grocery shop and then shopping list. So cute. Time to plan. Cleaning day, self care, and these book ones. So cute. Haven't even used one yet. And then these are also from her shop and these are work from home stickers. Next is Monarch Plans. My favorite thing about her shop is that she has a custom text um, option. And let me tell you, I've utilized it on multiple occasions already since her shop just opened and cannot. So I've got happy mail from her and I absolutely love her font so, so, so much. It's just so cute, it's so me. So I've got happy mail, Instagram, brunch, Currently, this was one of my first ones that I, I think I did it. I think it was supposed to custom, I think. I'm not totally <laughs> sure, but I've got discussion post and discussion replies. I know for a fact that this one and project do were um, customs. And then seminar was another custom for me. This is for um, my teaching program. And same with my practicum appointment. And then this was a little um, from an oops bag. It says doctor's appointment with this cute little icon. Day off, canceled, stretch, workout, meal prep, self tan and pedicure, garbage day and water plants. And then this is probably my most, uh, the most scripts I have, let's be real is Orange Umbrella Co. So I've got my bills. I've got my, I have like pretty much all my school scripts are from Orange Umbrella Co. So we've got paper due, my quiz, midterm, exam, final, assignment due, study, evaluation. That's for my teaching program. Got another evaluation, another font, no class, no school, day off. I love these canceled. I haven't had to, been able to use it yet. And I have another kind of canceled two different laundry fonts, appointment, errands, workout, gym, so cute, to do next week and all this pretty rainbow, do nails, I do my own dip, so I love this sticker, me time, Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting and rainbow and another font, and then I have lesson plan, substitute these ones came in a, um, a deviant grab bag ard meeting and session i purchased these during the last um tpc sale just because i was like well i'm gonna need them in the future because i'm in my teaching program to be a teacher so i might as well grab them these really cute motivational stickers some foiled days of the week am routine and then i have two different weekend Two different weekend fonts and then we get to my planner Kate scripts so again more holidays but a different font on call these are for my boyfriend um he is a service plumber so he does go on call occasionally fend for yourself love these little payday corner flags and then here's where we just get into functional stickers all together so I've got my arrows <laughs> all different kinds of arrows and then these are school labels these i had made um through these are erin condren but because they are functional i wanted them in my functional binder versus my erin condren binder because they are my functional for when i have um this stuff and they're my labels so i have my practicum so i'll put this in um on the days that i have my student teaching and i'm at the school and then I have three classes that are live. I have live sessions at night, um, which one of them is my seminar and then my other two. 
and then we get to appointment labels. These are made specifically, my boyfriend's name starts with a G. Um, <clears throat> so when he's on call, I'll take one of those on call scrubs and I'll stick it on here with some washi through the week that he's on call and my monthly spread. And here's how we get to what I do with my leftovers from kits at the end of the week. So I keep my sticker sheets for when I'm all done from like samplers and all that stuff. And I just color code them and I stick them on this sample sheet. So I've got my um, colors and then I've got like neutrals. And then these are leftover budget stickers. These are an, pretty much an empty sheet, but I have so many of them. <laughs> Same thing, basic labels. And for this one, I've got my colors, my decorative, kind of have patterns and then my neutrals. This is leftover from a Latrousse papery um, monthly, well month kit. I tried that out in June um, and I did like it. It just, I wanted it to be more simple. And then we've got our quarter boxes, third boxes, my leftovers again, solid colors, patterns, decorative kind of jazz. My half boxes, these are also half boxes from Coco and Opal, haven't used those yet. This um, has a tab and I haven't labeled it yet, but this will be leftover like full boxes. Then we get into my checklists, leftover checklists. I know this is totally not a checklist, I just did not really know where to put it. Some headers and then we get into trackers and then more trackers and then my day header. So I have so many leftover, like I bought extra just like colors of day headers just to have some extra. So I've got some black, some teal, some like more black, more black, yellow, teal, whatever, but it's just actually little day headers. So that is my functional binder. And my last binder is this beautiful white like pearled one and this is my decorative stickers binder so in here I have washi these are all from orange umbrella co and I have all of the months and I have extras of all of the months so we got January February March and then every you get two four six of each and then you get one gray and that's for every single sheet so two there's and each row of this with the is they're thin as you can see so yeah, two, four, six, and a gray, same thing. And then I've got some little foiled headers. So these are some hearts and bows. And then these ones are like confetti. These ones are solid green foil. My leftover washi. And then we get to my icons. I really don't have a whole lot of icons. I'm, this binder is the emptiest binder and it makes me sad. I need to get some more things. <laughs> so I've got my little fork and knife, some coffee cups, some paw prints, footballs for whenever we can have football season again, some asterisks. These rose gold foiled ones are give me all the life. Um, individual little check boxes. And then we get into some budget stickers. So we've got credit cards, house, light bulb, car, Wi-Fi, phone, and then we get into my weather icons from them. I just got these and I love them so much. And then I have all, a bunch of transparent dots from them. And then I have my planner Kate weather sampler sheet. And then these are just some random other little icons that are left over a little, um, sampler like freebie and then I have my peachy plan doodles so we've got these little happy mail this is actually from um orange umbrella Co, but I didn't really know where else to stick it countdown to Christmas these Trader Joe's bags give me life I love Trader Joe's more than anything um these little popcorns I died and then these tacos oh my goodness and then this last little section is from Target. And this was just a little seasonal little thing that they had booklet. So we've got 
um, and you get two pages of each. So we've got this little first like half. So you got some happy new year, some val so it's supposed to be like January, February, March, April, kind of like May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then December for Christmas. And then I just loved these gold foiled pineapples so much. <laughs> and that is all of that. All right, guys, that was all of my sticker organization. If you have any questions or uh, wanna know where I picked anything up, um, let me know in the comments down below and I will continue to do some more of these as I figure it out some more. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.